When buying fish, having it fresh is a must. But would you like it this fresh? The fish on display in a shop window may appear to be dead and without a head, and you certainly would think it was. But if you look closely, it appears the fish is still alive. Apparently, though, this effect can be created by applying salt to the meat. The salt acts to refuel the sodium channels in the fish's muscle, allowing it to spasm like that. As long as the bones, spine and muscles are attached, it can do this. And it can be done up to a week after the fish is killed, so really it's a decent judge of freshness either way. ...released of an underwater discovery that has been intriguing experts. A bull shark, not uncommon but a two-headed one, unusual. So unusual, experts at Michigan State University say it's likely to be a world first. The shark pup was discovered in the Gulf of Mexico when a fisherman cut into the uterus of an adult shark. This X-ray shows how the shark also has two hearts, two stomachs, but a single tail. The fish was found back in April 2011, but the images have only just surfaced. That was months after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, but experts say any connection would be unwarranted. They added that there have been other cases of two-headed animals and to expect more in the future. Four baby bamboo sharks have taken up residence in one of the UK's most unique aquariums. A special pop-up nursery has been built at the Atlantis submarine voyage at Legoland Windsor, complete with colourful Duplo bricks, including a train and bricks for them to swim through. The seven-inch long babies are the result of a successful breeding programme and have been carefully nurtured behind the scenes since their birth in November. The most amazing thing about these baby bamboo sharks is they're not like free swimming sharks. They crawl on the bottom of the ground using their pectoral fins. And this is part of our wider breeding and sustainability conservation um, program that we've got going on at Legoland Windsor Resort and also a part of the global program we have within Sea Life. The bamboo babies join 18 other sharks in Atlantis, including a juvenile zebra shark raised at the aquarium last year. The youngsters still have a few weeks to settle in before guests start arriving when the resort reopens on March the 15th.